good morning my babies it is thursday morning i'm getting ready for my 9 25. i have to be present today at 10 40 10 40 is basically from 10 40 to 11 35 we do not have classes on campus <clears throat> and we're having an organization fair and i have to represent the organization that i am a miss of so you know i had to get a little snazzy i didn't have the best day yesterday so Whenever you're not having a good day, the next day, just feel just dress nice. Because when you look good, you automatically feel good in some type of way. So, that's my advice to everybody when you're having a, a crappy day. Um, I'll be there. Okay, I don't, okay, let's go ahead and just talk about this hole. Because it's kind of like, that look make me look dusty. So, this hole has been here since the summer. I told maintenance. They, I put it in a thing called school dude. We're able to fix it. They have not fixed it yet. So it's kind of like, I don't really know what to do. It's like, I don't, <laughs> if I've spoken to you and you said you're going to come and fix it and, you know, all that good jazz, you haven't fixed it. I don't really know what to do. So I'm just, life goes on. And I just sleep with my mouth closed <laughs> or I just try to sleep under it because can't really do anything about it right now because they haven't changed it. So. <laughs> So, I'm at the organization fair for Eagle Ambassadors. This is the president of Eagle Ambassadors, T. Ashley Best. Oh, wow. You switched that up real quick. You switched that up. Good morning, everyone. It's like 9.30. And I'm on the way to work. I have my raisin brand and my cup. And I have my work shoes. And I have my rocks on because I'm not wearing these uncomfortable shoes just for no reason. I need to get gas before I go to work. And so it's 68 degrees outside. I don't understand what is going on, but it's hot. It's hell in my room, and I need to get this fixed. So I can't sleep in the hot. In the hot. <sighs> like I'm tired, but I gotta go to work. I work from 10 to 1 at Davis Bridal, and then I got class at 2. So I don't know. People be staring at me when I'm vlogging, but it's okay. Just got off of work. Pretty good day. I really hate the training stage of working like at a new job. Like I just want to go ahead and get what I gotta get done, cause I feel like I I can't contribute to anything. Like I'm just kind of hindering, cause I don't know what to do. So I'm glad that I'm kind of um. I'm sorry, I was reading them group me. I hope that you know. I feel like I'm you know progressing pretty fast. So. You know, as long as I can help them make money so I can make money, I'm good. Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday morning, like 8.20. I have to work this morning. Up until 1. So, I'm tired. Oh, I didn't even moisturize my face, y'all. What the world? But I'm up. Groggy. But... I gotta, I gotta make my money. I can't. That don't stop. When it comes to my money, we don't we don't stop. No matter what happens. Hey y'all. Hey, it is Sunday. Uh 3.20. I'm actually running late to work. I have to be at work at 3.30. So yeah. <laughs> I got my little hot pocket with me. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get this shift over with because <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe I'm about to be late, but it's all right. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I had to send off my book because I was having problems on Amazon where they didn't send my print and label to return my book and they were about to charge me. So, what's up? Alarm going off. Something going on. I don't know what's going on. Oh, don't hit me, sir. Because I will see. But people look at me like I'm crazy because I'm recording. It's okay. That's fine. Hey, Victoria. How you doing, girl? How you doing? So. So I'm going to end the video here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoy my new video. Hmm. So.
to probably end my video for today. Just wanted to have a little chat with y'all about going for what you want in 2018. You know, last year, I feel like in 2017, um, I think for everyone, um, a lot of things happened that kind of shifted us, you know, shifted our place in life and made you realize a lot. And it was a lot of uncomfortableness that I know personally I encountered and having to move when I didn't want to. Um, but I feel like that really prepared me for what 2018 will bring. And the only thing I just want to say to y'all is... We we can't be comfortable in life. Um, or we can be, but you won't really see much, many results. You see the same thing. And for me, I hate being uncomfortable. Like, social settings, like, I get anxiety. I just don't. Like, I, and I feel like I'm such a yin and yang. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm to myself, but I'm outgoing in a way. Um, and I truly do believe that I connect to people in some type of way. I feel like I'm just a genuine person and I'm, I'm personable, but I know this year is about sometimes you just got to do things that you are just scared as hell to do, but it has to be done, you know, for, for you to, to be better as a person, you have to step into that unknown space and, like my name, you know, faith is, you know, basically taking that step and not knowing where it's, where it's going to take you. You might even know it is a next step. You're just stepping out because you want more for yourself. You're stepping out because you want to see what's out there. And I challenge you all to step out. This hole is really bothering me. I challenge you all to step out and just see what, just see what life takes you. Just see, we can't live our lives being scared. And I know a lot of times I can shut things down out of fear. And I'm learning that, you know, why not? One thing I remember um, in high school, uh, my senior year, I was running for homecoming queen. And my slogan was, was why not faith? And <laughs> that was a legit thing. Like... Why not you? Why can't you get that job? Why can't you get that position on campus? Why can't you? Why? Can't, like, why? Why not? Why not you? And I need y'all to, to remember that and, and just take that with you every day. Nobody is better than you unless you believe it. And it's not even about the competition of who is better than who. You never know where people all where people are in life and i think the biggest thing with social media is we compare ourselves to people's social media lives and just like with us we share what we want to share and some more than others but in a sense you are not telling everything i'm making youtube channels you know i make i have a youtube channel and i share with y'all and i'm pretty i'm a pretty transparent person but it's some things i answer myself about people who have been around me and still don't really know me like that Cause I share what I want to share. So I always remember that about everyone else. And sometimes your perception is not always your reality. It's just your perception and how you view things. But I got off topic, but <laughs> why not you? Why not you? You can do anything in this world. As long as you have a good work ethic and you're diligent. Well, it might be basically the same thing. As long as you're diligent and you're passionate. That's one thing, I am a very passionate person, but I will not do something if my heart is not in it. Because I don't, I will never half-ass anything. And if I feel like I'm gonna half-ass it, I'm not gonna do it. Because I feel like you should get the best of me. You should get my best work. You should get the best of everything I give you. I should give myself the best. And if I'm not gonna do it, if I, if I know I'm not gonna put my put forth you know, not just not just a toe, my whole foot out and take that leap of faith, I'm not gonna do it. That's doing that's not what's the word? 
that's a disservice if that's a word i don't know that's not i'm not nobody's getting anything from that i'm not getting anything from that so the takeaway from this is i realize that i kind of am scattered when i talk because i just have so much on my mind why not you and if you ain't passionate about it don't do it we'll still do it if you want to do it but don't ever don't 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 half ass anything don't 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 half ass a relationship don't half ass your work don't half ass anything just put your full effort into it and don't let social media don't don't let how you view people on social media be that be the only way only thing you kind of know about them because it could be so much more to them everybody goes through things you're not the only one and don't compare yourself to these people on social media because they may be at this high position now, but you don't know what it took for them to get there. You don't know them nights they cry. You don't know they might be they might have their times feeling insecure. You don't know what people go through. And they don't know what you go through. So don't compare yourself. You are you. You are an original copy. There is no other like you. You may find people that have similarities like you that's that's what you call friends if y'all end up clicking and getting to know each other but nobody is like you so let your uniqueness stand out we got enough carbon copies out here be yourself and step out on faith